called High Stakes Duel on Poker Go. And, you know, I knew I was playing Eric and I thought, well, how can I make this a little more fun? And Eric's always a guy who wears no sleeves. He's a big, strong dude. He's right. like an alpha male, right? I was like, all right, what if I, so I ordered a muscle shirt, you know, and then I put a blue tank top and I also got two fingers, like those big foam fingers. Right. right. When he played Hellmuth, he gave him like the double bird. Right. So I was like in the way and I said, listen, if it gets out of hand, I'm ready to roll. And I showed him the <laughs> double bird all in good fun. Like, you know, yeah. fun, I, fun match all I, around. I thought it was very entertaining. You know, I look at Eric as a guy who obviously has a lot of money. He's a very successful businessman. I'm just curious, how would you rate his poker game, you know, uh, in general compared to other professionals? Do you consider him a professional or do you consider him an amateur that has a lot of money that has moderate poker skills? How, what would you consider his poker game at right now? Well, to be precise, you know, he does make a lot of money in these cash games and good spots and good games. And that's playing ring game. Now, what that means is, you know, against seven or eight other players. I don't think he has a lot of experience playing specifically heads up. And I do. So I found he made some mistakes there. You know, with some of the, the decisions he was making, I was a little bit surprised because it's really tough. If you've never played one-on-one -on -one heads up, you know, a lot of the things you think is correct about poker just goes out the window and it's a totally different game. I remember it was Antonio S. Fondiari. I was talking to him about heads up poker and he said, you know, at least 80% of the hands in position.